first day of practice here at SMU. How did, how did it go today? Does it feel like being a freshman all over again? Uh, definitely not. It feels like, um, it's, even though it's my first semester at SMU, it feels like uh, I'm an upperclassman. But once I, once I learn terminology, then I think I'll be okay. How's day one here different than day one at Texas or day one at Navarro? Uh, day one at Navarro, the first day you're going out full fledged pass, hitting. Uh, but uh, Texas, or well, difference between here and Texas, uh, I was a lot more involved on the first day. I wasn't just sitting on the sideline, you know, watching practice and, and anything like that. So I uh, really appreciate the coaches giving me the opportunity and uh, I'm going to try to work my, my hardest and try to prove them right. Between high school to Texas to Navarro to here, mm -hmm. You've learned a lot of offenses in the last several years. Yeah. Is that frustrating to have to start from scratch every year, or does that actually sort of help the learning process go faster? Uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty frustrating, but, you know, it's just something you got to just work through. Uh, you know, if you make it to the league, that's one of my one of my goals. Then, I mean, there's a possibility you could be traded. So, I mean, it's just a process that you have to go through even if you don't like it. When you got to Texas, you arrived – as one of the most productive running backs in the history of Texas high school football. Now that you're at a third school, yeah. are your expectations different or is your approach different coming in here? Um, well, I don't think I have a different approach or different mindset. I'm just same mindset and same approach that I had when I was a freshman in Texas coming in at, uh, in the summer. So I think uh, really that's my, that's my approach to the game is just come in and work hard and try to learn as much as I can from everybody, anybody around me. Obviously today was just your first day of practice, but you got here in January for this semester. How much have you been able to get into the coaches' offices and watch film and study the playbook at this point? Uh, well, me and Coach Swan, we actually met uh, a couple of times and uh, we were able to go through uh, the, basic, the basics of the offense. And um, so the, out here today, I learned uh, a lot more uh, from doing and the, rather than seeing in a meeting room, I actually learned a lot more out here doing. And uh, just from watching the other running backs, I learned a lot more what techniques and uh, routes and everything like that. When you get to a new team, whether it's here or Texas or wherever, what's harder, learning the, the offense and the terminology or developing the chemistry and timing you need with the quarterback and the offensive line? Um, well, Garrett, I mean, I already had kind of chemistry with Garrett, so I'd say learning the terminology. I mean, uh, me and Gary, we kind of had a little bit of chemistry from from uh, practicing together at Texas. So uh, the chemistry, it was it was pretty much there. It's just learning the terminology. Has he sort of have it, has he spent time with you, comparing plays in the SMU offense to what you guys did at Texas, saying this reminds you of such and such down in Austin? Uh, well, uh, when I first got here, when I came on my official visit, uh, he kind of he was kind of talking to me on the side, uh, saying. You know, it's basically the same and everything like that. Have the coaches told you anything about where you are on the pecking order or expectations they have for you as far as playing time? Oh uh, well, they well they really uh, just told me how hard Zach Lyon he worked uh, on and off the field, and in, especially in the meeting room. And uh, they just wanted they got the same ex expectations for me. And uh, once I can get that down packed, then they I, they didn't really haven't told me what the plan is, but they just were uh, trying to you know give me that similar comparison to how hard Zach worked and how productive he was after he worked so hard. Zach's obviously not on the team anymore, but yeah. he is around every now and then. He's yeah. training for pro day and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Have you had a chance to meet him or pick his brain at all? Uh, yeah, I met him. I met him once in a in a weight room, and uh, we didn't get to really talk that much because uh, we had to hurry up and get to the to the back side of the weight room and start stretching. So I really haven't uh, got to talk to him too much. Going from high school to Texas to Navarro to here, mm -hmm. do you approach this with sort of a chip on your shoulder, or do you feel like you've got something extra to prove, maybe oh, yeah. even more than the other guys? Oh, uh, I have a little bit more drive behind me now. I mean, I have a uh, really uh, got a little anger built up inside of me to prove. I had a lot of naysayers and says that I small town small town running back can't do much in D1. So I, I pretty much have a once I think once we put pads on, then I'll try to well not here, but you know in the game I try to let some of the most of it out. But I have I have a little built up inside of me.